This is Opie and Anthony Lewis Black in the studio. He's got a lot going on, and he's leaving us in a few minutes here. He's got to go to uh, CNN. He's uh, one of the newsmakers and shakers. <laughs> CNN yeah, headline. Yeah, really. Headline news. Yeah, headline really. news. People are blowing themselves up around the world. And let's stop for a moment and talk yeah. to Lewis Black. What uh, What are you on there for? What, what are they talking about? I'm on there because there's you, there's 96 hours of news a day, and yeah. you're going to have to fill it with somebody. I'm I'm promoing my. Um, I did a special for Comedy Central about taxes. About taxes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I don't think I pay those uh, taxes anymore. No, you it's guys, so overrated. You guys, you guys, you know, you guys have like you've got that you know truck full of money. They just yeah. come and collect a little. They of just it. take it. You know, you don't have to file. It they'll was, they'll just take it. W N E W is part of their deal. They just kind of paid off the federal government. So you're going to be talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it just said keep them out of jail. <laughs> so now when we uh, tune in to see you on yes. headline news, you're going to be talking about the special. I'm going to be talking about my gay relationship with you. Really? <laughs> well, you can do that. I'll, I'll watch. Um, I know. You know. Well, I just thought it could, you know, it could pull in a few more numbers and we move up the chart. I thought perhaps they've gotten to the last uh, possible person that could solve the Middle East problem, Lewis Black. <laughs> yeah, it's right. like, all right, well, bring in Lewis because we've run out of experts, we've run out of politicians. Well, actually. I think with the with the with the passage of Milton Berle, I actually move up the ladder. You do move up the comic ladder of respect. Exactly. So you know somebody had to move up, and it was, I'm one of them. Who has to die to put you on top? Who's uh, the guy ahead of you? There's about fifty. Paulie Shore is he above? Uh, <laughs> Paulie Shore, <laughs> of course. Paulie Shore, uh, yeah, no doubt. I've, I've, <laughs> in this career, I feel like I'm smelling his butt. I'm thinking Emo Phillips is right above emo? you. Emo, <laughs> emo, ah. Uh. Norton, Norton is definitely Norton's out there looking for airline tickets. I like getting your take on some things, Lewis. What do you think of the whole situation over there in Middle East? What, what's the biggest problem? Is is it ever going to be resolved? You don't you don't ever solve a problem in a desert without gambling. Las Vegas. So you there. think gambling? Gambling is the the answer. Casinos. You let, let the Palestinians build the casinos and let the Jews play at them. And that, it's done. It out, isn't it? It's done. Good food, plenty of it. It's done. <laughs> That's it, casinos. Yeah. Well, it's one thing they haven't tried yet. It's Well, it makes sense. It would stop everything. They'd go, wait a minute. Wait a sec, I could see uh, where uh, Christ was, or, uh, or I could play... Uh, you know, a Caribbean stud poker. <laughs> I think it's not. It's a no-brainer. The Palestinians are making money. Yeah, and uh, the and they, Jews are happy because they're they're, they're, uh, they're at gambling. a little gambling and gambling. place. You know, and then, and then you get the you know, and then once you got that, the Orientals show up eight minutes later. <laughs> so yeah. to, to sit <laughs> last at the blackjack table <laughs> and draw when the dealer's showing a twelve. Yeah, <laughs> and they Bastards. put all the towels in their suitcases, and nobody has any headwear. <laughs> <laughs> they do it every time. I am stereotyping right now, but there's a goddamn reason for it. Hey, hit me! Yes. Hit me! <laughs> you stupid son of a bitch! Oh, it never fails. Everyone's sitting there. It You're sitting fails. there with your goddamn, you know, your 17, whatever it is. And uh, the dealer is showing a, a 14. He's showing a 4, you know, her face card. Yeah. He's showing a 5, whatever it is. The goddamn Asian guy has his, he's got his 16. Hit me. Hit me. No, you stab. You wait for the, he right. busts. What is the deal of Paul? Whatever he needs to make 21. Yeah, no, it's exactly You that. bastard Asians. Well, no, that and the fact that I have never, I won't, if, if it's an Asian dealer, oh, I yeah. won't play. Leave. I leave. I've oh, gotten Ruiz killed by Brack. <laughs> Sit down, Ruiz. <laughs> <laughs> we have pray some Brack Drack. <laughs> I hate when you got a hot table. It's going very well. And the dealer goes, does that thing. Oh, oh you're yeah. leaving? Ah, oh, here comes Fung. Here comes Fung. <laughs> hey, oh, dear, uh, Mr. Fung. Uh, good rock. Good rock. No, no. Luck gone now. Rock gone. <laughs> rock run when you come here. <laughs> Happens every time. I'm on a great streak. You know, I'm splitting stuff. I'm hitting blackjack on both of them. Woo! He comes over. Oh, you have a twerve. I keep pulling 12, 12. Rook, dear, uh, blackjack. Oh, oh. Good rock. <laughs> Yeah! And you gotta sit there. Look at this effing butte they sent me. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's got a memory like a steel trap. All right, you wanna get a reading, uh, Lewis? No, I gotta go. Before you leave? Oh, I can't, I gotta God. go. No, 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 it's gotta, it'll be quick. Oh, he's gotta go. Yeah, I do. 
It's Very quick. Ricky. My clock says 4.38. Ricky. Yes, sir. All right, quickly. We're in a big hurry. Lewis Black has to go we, to uh, CNN. We met, uh, real fast, we met Ricky in Boston, uh, Lewis, right. and uh, he's a psychic on the side when he's not collecting cans and molesting <laughs> little boys. I right. don't collect cans, I don't molest little boys. What do you but think anyway, about here's, Lewis? Here's, here's, Lewis, here's what I'm going to tell you very quickly. Yeah. First of all, you started up, uh, you didn't know whether you wanted to go to comedy or news, and then you started up, and you worked out of a low-class nightclub, and uh, you started up to the top, and right now... You know, you make it a halfway there, and I see the future of you uh, coming up good. But you have a little financial problem there once in a while, uh, you know, back at home, you know, and uh, you have to work on that. But now you have to make a decision whether you want to stay in comedy or whether it's going to be a bomb for you or whether you want to turn around and become a newscaster. And uh, I see the newscaster uh, more more on your agenda as this time as perhaps the future. That's a decision that you've been thinking about making and you're not sure about making, but I'd like the decision that will come out. And I do have a prediction, uh, if you could put me in, if you want to stay on, about the Opie and Anthony show of the future. Uh, yeah, go ahead. The Opie and Anthony show of the future, for every station that drops Opie and Anthony, there will be five more new stations that's going to pick it up. Oh, there it's you because go. When, we, when we take away freedom of speech for people who want alternative stations, this is making let's me turn around and take tell away you to freedom of speech. Yourself. <laughs> this guy talking. Because I'll tell you one thing. Right. People have to have the balls to write to the program director to take them off. I say, hey, we want them back on no pontificating. and pick it outside the station. I see the future of Opie and Anthony show. Opie and Anthony show in the future. We're wearing Mylar suits. And by That's the way, the change Opie. I see with the future. Mylar suits. Lewis, Opie. Yeah, Lewis. Get a stop wearing them bras. There's no good for you. All right, Lewis, I didn't meet, uh, I didn't meet that girl that you said I was going to meet. Here's Ricky. You're sitting Lewis. Uh, I mean, Ricky. I'm sorry. Hey, I like girl. No, she is uh, terrific. She had the biggest boobies I've ever seen, by the way. You said I was going to meet a girl Friday night. Yeah, you're going to meet a girl Friday night, but you get too drunk, you passed out, man. No. They're <laughs> actually oh, psychics. Don't, it could be any Friday, because psychics are wrong in terms of time. So uh, I am on yeah. the show. How's the reading for you, Lewis? As a matter of fact, that girl is tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, how was your reading? That reading is, uh, I began to think, well, am I just supposed to accept this as the facts? <laughs> it, it wasn't no. close. Yeah, of course not. It wasn't this guy close, is but the it was, worst psychic ever. But it's, it was a good shot. Yeah. Uh, uh, but right. I am going to, but I, he was right, I am going to CNN, and they'll probably, when I'm there, will offer me a job as, in news. Well, let Lewis go, because I don't want him to be late because of this show. <laughs> right. No, and then, and then i got to tell people I'm at Westbury, because that uh, keeps screaming, tell you to be at Westbury. Oh, they're going to spin you around on the old Westbury in the No, they're only stage. doing half. Lewis half Black the, and uh, oh. Kevin Meany at, uh, at the Westbury Music Cat. Fair on oh, Wednesday, well, April now, 10th. Well, Bobcat, go away. i got to talk to Kevin Meany about an airport thing. I'll, yeah, I'll find out. I'll, yeah, say, I'll, tell, I'll, I'll tell Kevin to give you guys a We're going to lose the house. I don't I, know if I'm grabbing guns from security. Well, we're going to be there. I don't know if he's talking. Uh, yeah, he is. He, he's talked about it. So we're there April 10th. Wait, that's Wednesday. What am I saying? Yeah, that's this Wednesday. And then April 12th. At, at 10 o'clock on Comedy Central. All right. Beautiful. And then, you're going to do a great job. And then six days uh, later, you can come to Town Hall. <laughs> nudge, nudge. All right, Lewis, get out of here. I'm yeah, out of here. Thanks, Lewis. guys. We'll see you on set, uh, CNN in like 20 minutes. You got it. What is it? Headline news? Do we have it? Headline news? Headline news. All right. We got it on. Thanks. Good. Want... Yeah, I'm seeing bombs and people exploding. It's got to be the news. Okay. Hey, uh... Ricky. Yes, sir. We got Frenchie in the studio. He needs a uh, psychic reading from you. All right, Frenchie, tell me what you want to know. I want to know when I'm going to die. <laughs> you want to know where you're going to die? Yeah. Speak uh, up. Hang Let's on, go. Give me a piece of spleen, Frenchie. Ah, uh, get in the coffin, you stupid. But no, Frenchie, seriously, uh, Frenchie, you, you have a little fear about you're dying, meek, right? don't you? You're drunk, aren't you? No, I'm not drunk. I listen to the show every day, and I enjoy myself. Hey, you homeless? Like, I'm a retired Are psychic. you homeless? I'm a retired psychic. Are I you don't retired? do it anymore. No, you retarded. No, not retarded. Retired. Ah, retired. Hey, by the way, I want to tell you something about. Uh, I want to tell you something about you guys. You yeah. guys uh, have more He's balls mad, no than when you speak on the radio. And I tell you, if people don't you, like it, they just f me off. And take this C out of this, your mouth, will you? <laughs> This station is the best, and you guys are the best. You come and visit, you come and rock and roll, uh, but nobody can go to Upbeat Boston. <laughs> you got no teeth, you stupid. <laughs> I do have new teeth. No, he said no, you I have got no my teeth. You have no teeth. Uh, I got new teeth. Hey, hey Ricky, you got your you teeth mick. today? Yeah, yeah. Let's take a second to read from New York mick. if we can. All right, do you want to give uh, Frenchie a reading? Shut up for a second, Frenchie. Uh, Frenchie. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, seriously, Frenchie. Uh, 
Well, you, you have a little fear about flying, number one, and you have a little fear also about your, your future because right now your future is doing good, but you're still not quite there the way you want to be it. You want to, you, you want to try to progress more. you got to relax more, Frenchie. you got to kind of lay back more. When you're off the air, you got to lay back more and stop worrying hey, about hey, what Rick, tomorrow is going to be. Ricky, find. Ricky, something about your readings. You say this to everybody. Don't you assume that everyone that's alive wants to be further along in what they're doing than they are at that moment in time. Like, you don't hope, gee, I hope things go down from here, or, or gee, I hope it just stops because I'm fine. All right, Frenchie, you got a promotion coming up. Well, so far, you're totally wrong, so I just want to tell you that. And another thing, uh, you smell like a toilet, you bum. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey kiss like, my anus. You smell like crap. Go to the dump. No, actually, somebody did come over. Remember with the, uh, with the, um... Hey, you know, you know what? shut you up. Come, you wouldn't let him into the studio? <laughs> Where are you two fishes, huh? <laughs> hey, you guys got a lot of balls here. You're going to be very hey, you got no balls, you ass. <laughs> hey, I kiss my they anus. They're near you ass, you stupid. Now, <laughs> don't hook me off you now. You faggot. All right, Frenchie, Frenchie. Don't want to burn you out. You can't time. burn Get out, Frenchie. <laughs> no, Frenchie's a great guy. What's going on, guys? Hey, Bobby Big Raider, what's up? <laughs> hey, tell me something. This Ricky, is he like the Iron Sheik of psychic reading? Get to the point already. <laughs> yeah. Plaza it's for me. It's my pleasure to tell you that I'm here to tell you your future. That's my pleasure, and eventually <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you your future. If I think of what your future is. Ricky, you're the worst psychic ever. Later, guys. Right, hey, Ricky, hey. tell yeah. me, where am I right now? Where are you right now? Yeah. Uh, right now you're on a cell phone, and you're in the middle uh, of uh, some place in between uh, New York and Chicago. I'm not sure where. I'm over a body of water. You're over a body of water? No, you're just going to be crossed over that body of water pretty soon to your car, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it was a nice try. I just sat down. Yeah, Speaking of a body Chicago. of water, don't we leave yourself. Go use the men's room. All right, Bobby. Thank you. All right, later. Bye. And I predict bad dental hygiene for you. <laughs> 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 All right. Hold on. There's a French guy that hates you, Frenchie. Jay, what's up? Hey. Hey. Please, please, please. I will give you anything. I swear to God, if you take Frenchie off the air for good. He's got nothing to say. Buy a new catchphrase, you stupid frog. And the only thing I have to tell you is to suck it, you bitch. Uh, so that's original. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's really original. Yeah, Why can you imagine your head down say? there, I'm, you I'm faggot. French, and I hate your freaking guts. <laughs> yeah, you stupid faggot. You that's, like that's that. That's really original intelligence. Shut up, you man, bitch. <laughs> I'll make you my bitch any day, you oh, stupid. Oh, hey, seriously? <laughs> yeah, I got you. You guys can do way better than that. <laughs> All right, Jack. Yeah, have a lot more respect for that. Seventh row crew dot com. Peace. <laughs> right, right. He's not, um... He doesn't seem to be a big fan of yours there, uh, Frenchie. French baguette, that's what he is. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, Ricky, we're going to let you go, I guess, huh? Yeah, hey, you guys are doing a wonderful job. Don't ah, worry okay. about losing Texas, for Christ's sake. Losing Texas is like, like losing a pimple on your ass. We're still in Dallas. Still in Dallas. We have a few uh, spots in Texas we're at. So. By the way, you got a major contract coming up at one of the big leading FM stations that you're out of work on right now. Wow. And it's a major one. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Shut up, Ricky, you man bitch. <laughs> oh, wow, you're brave. Man, man bitch. <laughs> Toothless ass. <laughs> All right.